everyone so welcome back to daily web coding so in today's video i'm going to show you one of my open source projects and it is about my blog post so i made the video a couple of weeks ago uh, just to explain how i build my blog post and a lot of you guys been asking for a tutorial for it and unfortunately i'm really busy and i'm unable to record the video and retype everything again so instead i make everything as an open source for you guys so you can go into the link in the descriptions or you can go to my repo right here the lib coding so you can see everything's um about this about the apps and yep so that's pretty much it all right so i'm going to explain to you um a little bit about this project what i have set up right here how i made it as an open source okay so first when you go into this project right here uh you can first you need to take a look at the readme and so that is really important any projects uh, you have to look at the readme so it, it's going to be explained what you how to run the project and system require so this is a system require and a tech stack and if you want to contribute you can go into the contribute md and run the project as well so if you go back right here there's a set of instructions um that you can see um this one uh, and you can just try and follow this one and you will be able to run your projects locally. And so if you wanted to run this one as your production, you can clone this one, change uh, the title name and things like that. You can feel free to do that. And the thing that you need to look for is to go into libs and config. And I'm using this one with Firebase. Uh, and so you have to go into the sample env at your env file. So as mentioned in the instructor right, uh, instructor right here, you copy this one, create your env files, and replace it with your own configs. And then, yeah, so basically this is the Firebase config. And, and if you wanted to uh, run this one locally without Firebase emulator, you can just comment this one. So this line right here, it just um, using the Firebase emulator uh, when we are in development mode so we don't want to talk to the uh, firebase on the cloud i also made a video about firebase emulator as well in the uh, so you can go and check the link in the description as well so yeah so basically uh, if you want just um, for production just feel free to change the name and things like that and then you can uh, create a new post and post it and deploy it to yourselves and that pretty much it so yeah i think that's not much from this one so i'm gonna explain you how i made this things open source and the things that necessary so when you're trying to make your open source as well so the first thing first that you wanted to do is so i'm gonna write it right here that you're gonna need is you have to have a readme uh that md so readme this one is really important so when you try to open source um you have to uh, have it to explain what is your projects what is required and how to run your projects so this is really important because this is the things this is the first thing that people read when they try to start out a new project so the next things that you wanted to do is to have the uh the eslint and um, so eslint and tier setups so this one is important as well because we wanted to keep everything uh, the same way as it is. I mean the same style. So um, let's say this project right here, I set up the prettier. Um, if you can take a look right here, I'm using the semi semicolon true and I'm using tab with full width. So we want everyone to contribute to our projects to have the same style as we do. So we want to make things keep sync consistent. And that's why we apply this one with the ESLint rule right here. So for my case right here, my ESLint rule is pretty simple. It just run the uh, prettier and you can that. Yeah, you can try to change it, whatever you want. But that's why that's what that's also important. That's why when we start on open source projects, ESLint and prettier setup is really important because we want to make things consistent. OK, so uh the next things that we wanted to have is to um running the pre-commit uh with Haskey. so this one is a Haskey uh, pre-commit so this one is gonna run um when when you make a new commit it's gonna do john uh john lin uh john run lin right here that's gonna fix all of the linting problems and yep so this um this is really important as well 
so we need to do like a you know a pre-commit or if you want you can do just a pre-push right here so this is not um we can set up i can do this one with like you know husky and things like that so yeah so this is um really nice thing to have as well we want to make sure that when people commit or push to our repo they make sure they check a linting everything inside uh, uh uh it's working properly before pushing to the uh make a PO for it so um also, it's, this is not uh, only run lin, you can change this one pre-commit to run test if you have test. That's, um, that's what you can do with this one, okay? So, yep, so I think the other things is to, um, probably is to have a, a license ID, a license MD right here. I think that's what an open source uh, have, should have. Like every time we should have this template right here. This one is you can get it by creating a new file. When you create a new repository, you can add a file right here. And then you add a name of your repository. Um, no, 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 sorry. So the name of the license MD file. So it's going to show you the template. So see now I already have it. Even if I type it, it's not going to be showing me a template. But yeah, if you don't have it, you type the name of license.md file. So it's going to give you a generate uh, template of which ones you want to choose. So for my case, I'm using the MT, uh, uh, MIT template. Yep, so I am going to type it right here as well. It's going to be a license. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure I spell this one right. So I'm going to copy this one right here. And then I'm going to replace this one as well. And yeah, I forgot one more thing. It's going to be we have to have a contribute uh, MD file as well because for people who want to contribute to our project, they can just go right and read that one. Yep, so that's pretty much it on how you open source your project. Make sure you have everything, uh, this one as a checklist. And the other thing is do not expose your API key. Please do not expose your API key. So do not, uh, don't expose your API key. Okay, don't expose it, please. Uh, because make sure every commit when you go public, uh, make sure that you don't push any public key uh, to uh, how can I say to, to to this repo. So to any repo public, so people can just steal that and spam to your API and so, or AWS. For Firebase, it's fine and it's it's okay to put it public and but you need to uh, change in some configure inside the project, but Let's say the the other important uh, secret key, please do not push it. And make sure you double check before you open public this one, okay? Public your repo. All right, so I think that pretty much it, guy. And um, you can go through with this one, try to run this one and see the code for yourself. It's For me, this code is not the best. There's uh, something that, I'm, that I've written this one. It's not really good as well, but it's does the jobs and if you face any problem or any issues while uh, running the projects uh, you can um, go ahead and uh, ask me in the slacks as well so what uh, is what and yeah if you have any face any problem okay uh, hopefully you like this one and I'm once again I'm really sorry uh, for uh, some of you that asked me for making the tutorial for this one and i'm sorry i am i am cannot do this one uh probably in the future i will try to give uh, make some other tutorials of an other video but um, yeah i think that is all uh from me and thank you for watching and thank you for subscribe and thank you for watching until the end and see you guys in the next video peace